like the, the result that we really had to grind out today? What are your thoughts on it? I think uh, grinding out is a good word and uh, we had to for you know 15 minutes last week, you know, down to 10 men, we had to. Um, you know, you've got to give Accrington real credit, they come first half and give us more problems than most teams have given us, you know, they passed it well. Um, and, you know, we weren't really at the races first half and we didn't get to grips with their shape against our shape. So, you know, I was delighted really to come into the break one all and, uh, and not, you know, go down. So, I think second half, you know, I saw a better performance from most of our players and, uh, you know, 11 men, we took the game to them, really forced them on the back foot. And, uh, and create some decent ch chances, but we've got to finish teams off. You know, we've we've got to finish the, the the game off, and we had a good opportunity to do that, but didn't. But you know, delighted with the way they dug in and ground in 20 minutes, 25 minutes that was down to 10 men, and they couldn't break our resolve, couldn't break us down, uh, and I was delighted with that. So just on obviously the fact that we had to see the game out with 10 men, what are your thoughts on uh, the sending off? Uh, the first one, I've got to speak to notes on that. You know. Uh, They've both wrestled themselves to the ground and um, I think that Noakes has tried to get back up but not been able to and just shrugged him off. I think only Noakes got booked in that one and the other player yeah. didn't, which again, inconsistencies is quite embarrassing. Um, so I'm disappointed he's got booked for the first one. The second one, it's a soft contact. It really is a soft contact and both players have fell down and, uh, you know, two decisions does he have to make them. But, you know, it just uh, probably sums up the performance, you know, from, uh, from the referee. An amazing goal from Danny to uh, to equalise. Uh, sorry, to take us in front. Good enough to win any game. What were your thoughts on his goal? Um, again, you know, Danny sort of waited today. First half, he just waited. He didn't take the the game to them. And then second half, he was really positive. And when he drives inside, it's something I've been speaking to him about for the last two or three weeks. You know, he's fantastic when he's driving inside at you, whether he's playing wing back or a winger. Uh, He's drove inside, he's got a lovely way of, of dipping his shoulder, but you know the, the, the finish is absolutely sublime. Um, certainly good enough, like you said, to win any game. Um, but you know, Danny in full flow, you know, to watch him in full flow, he's absolutely beautiful. Obviously as well, a really good performance again from Danny Rose, he really dug in, he worked all the pitch this afternoon. Um, just another stellar performance from him. Yeah, he epitomises what we're all about, you know, what hopefully the club's about, you know, that freshness, that desire, that drive going forward. And um, he gives us that momentum we're looking for. You know, he, he picks you up when, you, when you're a little bit down. Uh, his training load this week's been just incredible, you know, and even down to when we've gone down to 10 men, Danny still, you know, kept driving the team, kept going closing down and, and, and put a shift in for two men up there. And I was delighted with, with Danny Rose's performance and he's come out of it with real credit again and a goal so uh, you know we've we've got Danny in it was a good chase and now he's in the building you know he's an asset to this football club and uh, he'll continue to score goals because you know you get your luck and, and when you work as hard as he does uh, he'll get the luck that he deserves. We saw uh, Dwayne Holmes come on as a substitute in the second half obviously signed today on loan until January and um, why have you brought him in what are his qualities that he can bring to the squad? I just think he's someone who, if I'd have had him against Luton, I think he'd have carried us up the pitch a little bit more. You know, he's a real attacking threat. He's someone who, who who's very positive when he gets the ball. Um, he can play in either wing and he can play in the all number 10. So he gives us flexibility and options, but he's a carrier of the ball. And when the game gets stretched, he's that type of player that, you know, might unlock doors. And, uh, you know, the deal just seemed right for us to, to bring him in. We worked on it late last night, worked on it again this morning. The chairman with his contacts at Huddersfield worked on it and, uh, you know, we brought it home this morning. And, you know, Dwayne gives you that uh, little bit of excitement. He's someone who I want to see as a, as a player. Um, you know, he, he can make a real impact, you know, from the subs bench until we get him, you know, up to full throttle. Have you got a dilemma with um, with Danny at all, whether to play him further forward, where he's got he's just all he can do, or he was making that wing back position his own as well? Danny's it's been a great bonus, Keith. Mm. You know, Danny being able to play, you know, two positions and three positions because he's a brilliant mm. number ten. Uh, you know, the three five two we've played, we've played it incredibly in all the games. We've controlled and dominated, uh, but today we couldn't. And uh, you know, Danny and Notes down that side just didn't get it right, mm. get the balance right. I thought Nate Smith. Uh, you know, worked really well down that side against them. But once it changed, 
you know, Danny's he can go on the right wing, left wing. He's, he's been a great find at wing back, and uh, you know they're not really wing backs; they wing forwards. You know, in, in our system, they wing forwards. Notes will come out as a left back. Cameron will come out as a right back. You know, so Saws, he's never been a right back, and Danny Mayer's never been a left back. But mm. they are they are wing forwards. That's the, the the way the term I use when when they play, and I want them more positive. You know, if if Tom Saws crossing a ball mm. from right hand side, I want Danny Mayer getting in there and, and scoring on the outside of that one. Was that part of your thinking in letting Joe Widdison go out on loan? Yeah, I think the shape's changed. Mm. Uh, plus, we've been having some uh, you know bike behind closed door games, um, and you're not really in a rhythm. We played on Wednesday over at Wigan. It was an excellent game. Some of the lads who haven't made a lot of games played. Uh, but I want Joe in a rhythm Saturday to Saturday mm. so that if I do need him to call on him. Um, we've got, if we'd have had seven, six or seven games this month, I don't think I'd have let him go. Mm. Um, but, you know, we've got a few games to navigate uh, this month. And then as soon as the 28 days is up, we've got 24 hour recall. So I've got a left back then who's playing regular Saturday to Saturday football. Plus, you know, Jim Bentley and the way they've started and where they've done things, mm. you know, he's a, he's a top guy and I know he, he builds a spirit in there mm. and I think it'd be good for Joe. Um, the behind closed door games are good, but you can't, mm. you know, you can't repeat mm. a, a three point performance or, you know, what you're playing for on a Saturday. So it'd be good experience for Joe to, to go and make games and I've got a great cover with us, dog. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned Holmes before there. Now, is it, do you remember the, the days? When you were playing with these loans, always used to be a month, didn't they? Is it the current th theory to make them at least three months to give the people a chance to bed in? I think so. Um, you know, we've got a. I, I look at the, the the next six months. Certainly, mm -hmm. it was a January and where we're at, and uh, we're not carrying a massive squad. Mm -hmm. We're carrying a, a squad full of high quality, uh, and I think you can only get Dwayne in uh, when you 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 know what you're trying to achieve and you know what you're trying to build. He'll fit into our system. We've got mm -hmm. players who can find him. Um, his best position is number 10, but he's come on the pitch today and carried us forward uh, and give them a little bit of a threat. So he's a player that we'll be able to utilise going forward. And he's played games at a higher level as well, so he should slot in hopefully quite easily. Yeah, you know, we've got, we've got, at times we're going to stretch teams and teams are going to be chasing us down uh, when we go up in front. And uh, he, he, he gives us that bit of point of difference that we've probably been looking for. Um, and I'm looking forward to working with him, you know, I've told him today, you know. Whatever happens over this period, I want him to improve as a person and a player. Uh, that's my yeah. uh, you know, promise to him, and, and I think he will do. On the squad, is any news on Andy Proctor? Might he be gone this week? Potentially. You know, I think mm -hmm. Accrington were trying to do something yeah, with him. Um, you know, and, and it's till Monday. What I do know with Proc is that you know, come Monday, if nothing's happened, mm -hmm. you know, we won't be. Uh, letting people go on loan for no money. Uh, you know, we're a business. We're trying to make it into a business, and uh, teams will, will understand how we how we go and do our business. You know, and so um, it's it's a it's a ticky one that one uh, with the deadline looming. Um, you know, it, he's Proc is in a place now where he has to really get out and start playing again. You know, he's got 40 games left of the mm -hmm. season and could make a big impact for someone. I mean, is the Naismith deal dead? The kind for the net for Ackerton when we apparently made a bid for him is that dead now? Yeah, we you know we it was in between sort of when we was bidding for Rosie and see mm -hmm. where that as we had three or four different things in the pipeline there. So um, you know, and, and I think the way it's been handled through the press, the way Ackerton's done it through the press has sort of put us off. Uh, certainly put me off a little bit. You know, we we try going chairman to chairman uh, yeah. to do it really professionally. And then within half an hour, it was all over Sky Sports, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know we don't do business that, yeah. that way. It's something that uh, it, uh, you know when you're doing your business, you just got to make sure that uh, confidentiality is confidentiality. Mm -hmm. So to see it all come out glaringly obvious, and um, you know, was something that we, we've certainly not been not been a part of. He certainly played like he fancied him, didn't he, Smith? Mm -hmm. He was a bit of an handful. He did. He, the first, <laughs> first half, he was. You know, he, he really was, and um, you know. Yeah, I enjoyed his I enjoyed his performance. I think you know he played with intelligence. He played with great care um, and, a, and, a, and a good work ethic. So you know he's he's a, he's a good player. Um, you know, but we'll, we'll keep doing what we're doing and keep taking this thing along. Nice to see Jonesy back. Oh, it's been brilliant. You know, getting him back in training mm. and his energy and, and his, his pace. But he had maybe 30, 40 minutes in mm. him today. I don't want to push him. Uh, you know, it's a reoccurrence. Mm -hmm. So I don't really want to push him. But you know, he come on today. And, Put, he's put a shift. Yeah. He's put a great shift in. We've had to obviously move him from right wing to right back to cover notes going off. But again, Pabs and Pabs and Cameron come in there and just yeah. you know solidified it up. And um, you know, I was I was happy the way we dug in today. Have you got any news on uh, Nardi's progress? Is he progressing now from last week? 
Yeah, we probably thought it was maybe going to be four, a bit longer than four weeks, but mm. he's feeling good on it, he's feeling better on it, Excellent. so uh, this, yeah, it's, it's positive, but still there'll be uh, still be a bit of time on that. Plenty a few weeks away, yeah? Yeah, probably two. Yeah, two. two. You've covered everything there, I was just wondering if um, Nads was the sort of injury that you felt like you might need to get some cover in just, just, to, just until he got back. We've got we've got to cover everywhere. You know, we've, we really have. I've got Nick who can play as an inside forward. Uh, Danny Rose is playing exceptional at the minute, um, and you know it shuts down on Monday, but it reopens in a week. Yeah. So there's no we're, we're not going to be doing any permanent business. That's what I do know before Monday. Um, the long window shuts down for one week only, mm -hmm. and then we start again. So you know we we, we know what we're building here. We, we won't be panicking on anything or mm -hmm. anyone. Uh, we do our business, we do it right, we do it professionally and uh, we'll make sure that we keep building a squad that uh, can be competitive in this league. Okay. Right. I know you just one thing for you, just, I know you, you didn't get them in the end but to me it shows the ambition of the club in trying, you know, McCourt and Helen Hope, in your own looking back now realistically, what sort of potentials would you say you, they were of actually coming back here? Or coming in at all in Paddy's case? We, we could have done the Paddy one. Could you? Oh, without a doubt, without yeah. a doubt. But. Uh, you know the Brighton one. Championship, would, championship, it? championship, championship. Yeah. Plus Brighton's a great draw. You know if you're gonna move somewhere, you go down there. And, yeah. and Paddy's a, a real family man, and he's took his family down there, yeah. and uh, it's a great place for the yeah. kids. So, uh, you know, I'm praying that Paddy digs in and, and really has a massive effect on Brighton, mm. and, and I hope he does. And if he does, you know, he'll, he'll hopefully get a good championship career, and, and you know, he deserves one. Um, Alamo. Uh, you, you'll be very surprised how close we were, we were very really? close. It was right at the last hour that Sheffield Wednesday's come in, um, but we was the closest team, uh, Baron Sheffield Wednesday, to getting that deal done on Alan. And believe me, he wanted to come back here. Yeah, I can believe it, yeah. Um, I suppose that as well, Helm Hogg, there's a bit of a link with the England game that's coming up this week, that um, players like that are going to get a taste of life, uh, what it's like to play on the, the JD Stadium pitch. I mean, um, It'll be interesting for the fans that, that, that are used to watching Berry to, to see the sort of standard of players that are underneath, and maybe the sort of players that you could bring in on loan later on this season. That's the sort of it's, you know the, you get an experience at, at the JD Stadium that you know we, we sort of craved, um, mm -hmm. and and I'm you know we're trying to build a team that wins football matches, and that's the the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole experience, whether you know you. you you're a fan, whether you support, whether you're part of the staff. Uh, we're trying to improve things at a fast rate, and you know we get the new pitch, and then suddenly you know we get an England game that mm. we can all be part of. Mm. And you know I'm certainly the boys go down to Wickham on Friday. We travel down after training, uh, but all my staff staying back to see what we can learn from the yeah. game and, and see what we can pick up on. But you know it gets out there. It's on the football airways. What we're trying to do here, and mm. it's a good place to, to be at. And uh, you know. It, you can't help not want to be a part of this, so mm. it's it's good, and, and England will, will be, I'm sure, be well looked after, and um, they'll f they'll have a good experience, and that's what we want to give them. Okay, right. thank you very much. Cheers, thanks. Cheers.